So after you've written this one, I want to go through the scoring guide here. So for task A, which was describing how states can fight corruption, the response must correctly describe a political system, institution type, process, policy, or behavior. So something specific from the course that we talked about. Examples might include states allowing greater freedom of the press, states creating more government transparency, states allowing citizens to protest or put pressure, states allowing courts to try corrupt government officials, removing corrupt leaders from office, establishing oversight committees. And I would again say this is an area where an example would be very helpful. For B, it was just using the data in the graph, describe the score in 2008. All you really have to say is Russia's score on the Transparency International Corruption Perceptions Index was 21. The end. Examples might include the following. 2008 and 2010 are tied as years with the most perceived corruption in Russia. Too. Right, because the lower score here means that it's highly corrupt. Zero is highly corrupt, 100 is very clean. Okay, part C, the task, must correctly describe patterns and trends. And these seem so easy, but people lose points on these when they don't get specific about what they're seeing in the chart. So C, examples could include the following. According to the corruption index, perceived corruption in Russia declined but overall between 2008 and 2018. There was a great deal of perceived corruption between 2008 and 2010, then it declined. The perceived corruption in 2008 was 21, then it increased over time to 29. So perceived corruption declined. So overall, all of these have in common the declining nature of perceived corruption. And that's really it, you guys. This one is pretty simplistic, but we will practice these throughout the week just to make sure you're not missing anything. There's no tricks here. It's just describing accurately exactly what you see there and then coming up with substantive examples for the more broad questions.